that I got was the only time I sniffed it. I've not used it yet because I'm saving it for special occasions. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to another video um today's video i'm going to be doing a perfume haul a perfume collection video as you have seen in the title if you're new here my name is pamela orizu and if you're an old subscriber hey guys how you're doing it's been a while i did this it's been a while i welcomed you guys back to the channel i love perfumes i just love to smell good these are like different batches of perfumes that i've been collecting the old batches if you know the finish this is my first perfume video so you will not really expect me or don't expect me to be like the professionals that give you all the base notes and all those deep deep meaning into things no i'm just gonna tell you how i feel when i have these perfumes on if you are interested in knowing my perfume collection or what my perfumes look like just keep watching all right i'm going to start in no particular order i'm going to start with Musuf. I think it's Musuf or Musuf or something like that. This is what it looks like, guys. This is the packaging. This is how it comes. It's an Arabic perfume. I don't really do designers and stuff, first of all, because they are just too expensive. I cannot afford it. Secondly, I feel like, or household names, I feel like, you know, perfumes are not designers too. They smell good as well. You get this is it. This is the bottle. First of all, I have to say that i really really love this bottle this bottle is what made me buy this perfume this bottle made me buy this perfume apart from the fact that i wanted an oud scent i think it's oud right i wanted an oud scent i just loved the bottle and i decided to get it. i think i got this for like ten thousand naira, which we put in the price of everything so if you're looking for affordable perfumes watch this video because everything is affordable if you ask me they say oud but i don't think this is this has so much oud in it so if you're not like an oud oud fan then you should definitely go for it it's not a strong oud yeah it has a bit of like chocolate you know musk oud it also has a bit of caramel this this perfume makes you smell serious it makes you smell serious like this you know matured babe or matured guy if i must also say this is a unisex scent it's a unisex scent so both male and female can wear this it makes you smell serious it makes you yourself when you spray it on yourself when you smell it you think that you are this big person you are this high class person you are this very very matured person it has this mature smell to it it's not too strong it's not too oody it's just in the mix but then i don't think it lasts as long i think the lasting power is not so strong so last for like six to seven hours here about which makes sense for the price this is like you know ten thousand naira some people can sell this for nine thousand naira for you too did i get this for ten thousand no i think i got this for nine thousand i got it for nine thousand naira so for the price it smells all right so this is Mersouf. so i have the giorgio pink what made me get this perfume honestly was the price i got it from essenza.com and when i saw that it was going for twelve thousand naira i was like ah oh, it's cheap let me buy it so that's what made me buy it and i like i like the way it smells but i tried wearing it out i did not like the scent i did not like the way i smelled when i wore it out to me it's not for serious occasions i don't think this perfume is for serious occasions in my opinion i don't think this is for serious occasions if you watch my night routine video you notice that this is the perfume i use so i spray this perfume at home or when i want to go to bed it smells nice the time i had it on and my brother was like oh what did you what what did you spray what do you have on i'm like okay george open but still that did not make me spray this to go out i don't i do not like the way i smell when i go out with it so i just wear it indoors it might be for someone else it might be different for someone else but i didn't i did not like it it's a calm sense so to me it just gives the vibe of oh low-key just minimalist not you know yeah it's not for me it's a floral scent it is a floral scent 
my calvin klein endless euphoria this is the most expensive perfume i have here this i bought for 23,000 or 28,000 naira this perfume unfortunately i do not like yes i do not like this perfume i don't know why that's why it's still here even to wear it indoor is kind of like it's kind of like a problem for me but yeah i still like it but it's not something i would just easily reach out for it is a fruity floral scent it has you know rose sandalwood bamboo musk violet there is a reason why i don't like this scent and it is because it's it's a rose scent i don't like rose scent this scent this when i spray it i i perceive that rose scent when it begins to dry down i it, the rose scent just stands out to me i don't like it but if you like rose scent if you're a fan of rose scent then this you should definitely have it smells nice though it actually does smell nice but i'm not a fan i'm not a fan and you know i'm just going to say this is my least favorite scent it's the least for me i don't like i do not really like this scent at all it's just it's clogging <laughs> that's why i don't like it but it smells nice though. when it dries down it gives you that sandalwood musky kind of scent and that is what i'm about and the next is i don't know if it's raid or raed raed latafa yes this is also an arabic perfume i why I usually go for arabic perfume because they have more perfume oils in them they are stronger i like strong scents not too strong but i like strong scents i'm not really a fan of mild scents this one does it for me i like this perfume yeah i like this perfume it's it's unisex when you walk into a room they know that you've walked into a room when someone touches you their hand will be smelling this perfume like i love the scent it smells so nice if you guys are hearing anything please it's the gen i can't close any other window before i faint i love love this perfume so this is intense it's a bit floral it's spicy it's sweet it's mature it's masculine this perfume just does it for me it gives off that rich anti vibe that's you know yes this perfume gives all that rich anti vibe rich uncle vibe it makes you smell like oh yes you've arrived you are the big boss i love this perfume i don't know how i'm going to, how much i'm going to rave about this perfume but i love it the only problem i have with it is that it doesn't last as long as i expect it to last so the lasting power is like seven seven hours i was expecting you know something that will linger on the coat for a while but it doesn't really really linger so just seven to eight hours and you have to reapply but that's good too for the price this i got for ten thousand naira i got this one for ten thousand naira so this one i wrote down so it has pineapple it has amber it has sandalwood cinnamon vanilla vetiva you know all of that the dry down is definitely a woody note it has a bit of wood even when you smell it when you smell it just has that wood scent you're not going to regret buying this perfume honestly you won't regret that buying this perfume like i said the only problem is it just doesn't last as long as i would expect but for the price it is a good buy the next on my list is this seduction a lot of you will know this perfume if you're a nigerian or a nigerian youtuber or you're familiar with the nigerian youtube street you will know this perfume brand bigel bigel by oma seduction this perfume it really took me a while to get this perfume after looking at reviews and stuff because there are two there's seduction and there's passion and like i said i like stronger perfumes i don't like perfumes that are mostly feminine i like more of unisex perfumes so after going through the reviews i realized that okay this one is more unisex than passion and i decided to go for this and you know what guys i'm not going to lie this perfume was not love at first sight I'm just going to put it out there this perfume wasn't love at first sight when i sprayed it it was choking me i sprayed it on my hand here it was too strong for my liking it came in at night so i had to spray it at night to just go to bed i was so uncomfortable it was just too strong I'm like nah 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 i'm not 
this is not for me i don't want any of this but later in the morning when i woke up and i decided to, to smell my hand i'm like oh wait what's smelling this thing okay the next day i spread it on my clothes and i just put like two sprays pew, pew, and that was it Whoa. when it dried down this perfume I'm not going to lie. If it is not love at first sight for you, you are definitely correct. It's not love at for me. I think I oversprayed it, so that's why it was choking. You just need a little goes a long way. For me, that like strong perfume. I'm not see. I and Ihoma, we are not close parties and stuff like that. She did not pay me to do anything. I'm just. I love this perfume. I love this perfume the dry down it's to die for it's not i don't know some people compare it to kayali i've not sprayed kayali before i've not smelled kayali before so i don't know how it smells but i have not smelt this thing anywhere before when it dries down that's musk that's amber that's sandalwood the dry down is lovely i love i love seduction because when i first got it when i got it that night i was like ah no i've wasted my money I wasted my money. I don't like this thing. I don't like it. But <laughs> the next day, I was like, no, man, this perfume is the truth. See, just a little goes a long way. Except you want to die and choke yourself to death. This perfume is strong and it smells good. You don't need to. I look at, I've been using this perfume more, but see where it is. I've been using this perfume a little goes a long way this perfume is strong it smells nice it also has it's you know arabian scent when you smell arabian scent you will know it has that arabian scent in it so definitely you know that oh this perfume was made in one arab country or something like that it's it's there it's there this perfume i love if you've been thinking about it then go get this perfume i love it this perfume this perfume was a gift to me by one of my older co-workers when I was working in 9 to 5 for my birthday. Look at where it has gotten to. I use perfumes nicely. I use it, you know, very well. It's just that when I have one perfume, I feel like I don't have enough. So I like to gather. I like to gather. I've had this perfume since... It's not last year. So this is Elizabeth Arden Provocative Woman. I love this perfume me i like to mix perfumes but with this perfume i can just spray it alone and go about my day and feel so confident i love it's sweet it's not so strong this is one perfume that i know that is not quite unisex it's not unisex but i'm very comfortable in it this one perfume that i know i'm comfortable with it not being a strong unisex but it's just it's just blended out nicely kai elizabeth arden provocative woman i don't know how to just i don't know how to describe this scent there's one particular note i didn't i'm sorry guys like i said i'm not a professional perfume reviewer or something like that but there's this particular note that just stands out to me that makes this perfume to die for for me and everything here is in 100 mil so this one too is in 100 mil i don't quite know the price but when i'm when i'm editing this video i will check for it and put it up like i said it was a gift this perfume oil i got this perfume oil from 13 cents this one is baccarat rouge i think 540 but this is in the perfume oil now everybody knows if you don't know know now baccarat rouge 540 it is somebody's house rent that perfume is expensive and i cannot i don't even have the money to break the bank to buy it so i decided to get you know the perfume oil to see what it's about to know what it's about to smell it first and know this perfume is a powdery scent i have to say though that this perfume it's all over the place why because i feel like every rich person has this perfume and every person that is rich that i have smelled or i've come across i always smell this scent and when i got it i opened it and i sniffed it i was like ah so this is what you people are using eh this is what people are using eh now i know you will streak i will put it here put it here people will smell me and i'll be smelling undo 
you will know that the two of us we are in the same clique you are buying the expensive one i'm buying the perfume oil and i'm smelling rich but yeah this perfume every rich person that you've smelled smells like this they this is the perfume they use so whatever it is people say about baccarat rouge is is true this perfume is very nice it has this rich rich smell it has it's powdery it's floral that i got it was the only time i sniffed it i've not used it yet because i'm saving it for special locations <laughs> but anyways this perfume is very nice i like it too this is all i have for you guys if you don't want to break the bank or if you are trying to get a blind buy instead of buying the 100 ml or stuff you can as well just go for the perfume oil sized ones which they are which are very very cheap and i would advise that one's even better when you use the perfume oil then you cannot decide to go for the bigger ones because you know how they smell my favorite is this one okay let me take out this one because this is an og let me take out this one this is my favorite amongst all of them and i'm saying this is no hype i have it on right now i have it on right now this is my favorite scent this is my favorite scent followed by the raid followed by the baccarat mosuf the giorgio and i'm sorry but the calvin klein is my least favorite i said it before because of the rose scent i do not like rose scent but that's just it i hope i did a good job reviewing these perfumes and making you guys you know have a better understanding the perfumes that you like let me know in the comment section let's chat about the scents that you like if no other reasons why you like the perfumes that i've mentioned let me know in the comment section also if you've never tried these perfumes before if you've tried them before let me know how you feel about them in the comment section below let's chat let's gist and that is the end of this video let's wrap up please i need fresh air i am hot you guys should tell me how cute i look in the comment section too bye i'll see you guys in another video This sounds